Yeah, we're so glad you were here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope that you will come back tomorrow. I'm stuck in a car in a glass <laughs> box of emotion. <laughs> Thank goodness it is Friday. Okay, we just got out of Track Shack. Oh gosh. Okay. He's gearing up for his big run tomorrow. Yeah. So I'm supposed to have strobe lights on the front and back side of me, and the Earhart sent me my my headlamp, which can flash too. But I need one for the for behind me. So we got this little clip on. We also got body glide because chafing is no fun. <laughs> um, I also need a reflective gear on, like reflective things on me. So we're gonna like the iron-ons that we're gonna give a whirl and iron on to my my singlet and my uh, shorts shorts and then two new pairs of fresh socks for tomorrow Yay. So we gotta find somewhere to eat because we're both starving but it's got to be good food hearty lentils and rice is what I'm looking looking for and then we're gonna look for a Christmas tree we're going to the loving hut for dinner so this is one of those places that I feel like it's drivers divings and dives mm -hmm. like doesn't have great curb appeal but it's got great reviews, uh -huh. and it's all vegan. All vegan. This is Colonial Drive, and I forget the intersection, but it's on Colonial Drive. The largest family of vegan restaurants in the world. Wow, they're all around the world. Yeah, they're Australia, everywhere. Australia, Europe, Asia, other countries. Yeah. There's one in Chicago. Oh my gosh. Pause. Pause your screen. Pause your screen if you want to know. This place already. We're starting with fresh spring rolls. And there's a peanut rice, and this looks so good. That looks like shrimp, but it's not. Do we know what it is? I don't know, but it looks delicious. And that's peanut sauce. And then we got fried mushrooms. They call oyster mushrooms. How is it? Divine. Okay, first of all, I'm obsessed with the TV. It's SupremeMasterTV.com. Here's the food. So I got golden rice with a little bit of tofu, but we got carrots and peas and mushrooms and fried rice and some other good stuff. Sarah got a special stir fry. Yeah. So we got all different kinds of stuff in it. All the delicious things, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. She's gonna let me try it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're on the way out. Here's a poster of like a bunch of vegans. We're gonna confirm some of these, but Moby, Emily Portman, Ellen DeGeneres, Albert Einstein, Da Vinci. Look at them here. Scott Jerk, that's my running guy. Ultra marathon champion. Tomorrow, I officially become an ultra marathon. Next stop of the evening, Tarjay. Tarjay, we gotta get laundry detergent. Peter's secretly tickling me. Um, and. What else do we have to get? All the good stuff, or, cookies, brownies, oh pastries, pies. We need to go grocery shopping, but we're, we're in the darkness. We're quite busy. We are quite so busy. So probably go on Sunday. We're still in the darkness. <laughs> it's okay. Um, um, so we just need like a couple of things to tide us on over. Yes, because tonight we're looking for a tree. Hopefully, we can decorate. And we gotta wake up tomorrow. I have to go to a different running store to get the special European gel that I've started that I'm gonna start using. I've trialed it, Good ordered light. some, and Steve lent me one too. Yeah. Loved it. The um, the race tomorrow though isn't until 2 p.m. But we're gonna leave between 10 and 11. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll probably live hour. stream early. Maybe, we, I was thinking about maybe we live stream in the car because it's an hour and a half drive. You know the internet is never our friend. But we can try. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Somehow broke the top of a dish soap and it's just coming so <laughs> My phone might be busted. Look at it. What? What would I do? <laughs> so, we walk into Target and Sarah's goal is to spend less than 50 bucks. She spills a half a container of this soap on her, so now. All bets are off. All bets oh, are off. Shopping City. Dried garbanzo beans. We got a dessert. It's a dessert we're wine. We're not grocery shopping right now. Okay. We're, we're impulse shopping. No. Are we gonna have this brown rice? Yeah. Okay. We need. Quinoa. We don't have that much. We just have some vegetables. And one dessert. Oh, oh. This is the biggest Christmas section I've ever seen. Hey, the Look all the way over there. We got a plan. Christmas. I plan a lot of stuff. Yeah. I want Look two at that Siegel Santa. trips. He's climbing up Christmas a ladder. Trip. Santa's climbing up a ladder. Yeah. After this weekend. Christmas. Right. 44 yes. She says 50 bucks. 
Jose says no way, Jose. Hmm. I can't even lift it. I even decided to get a micro SD card because we lost ours. And I need to, my, I actually need to go for tomorrow for the run. So that's it's on sale. Deal. Nine bucks, or nine bucks, and there was 64 gigs, 32 gigs for 11 bucks. The heck. The Christmas tree lot that we saw on our way to the shops and dinner. Closed. So now we're like operation find a Christmas tree. We have 24 minutes to get to Home Depot, find a Christmas tree we like, and purchase it. And hopefully they have a good selection. Hopefully it's a Christmas miracle and just <laughs> the most healthy and most beautiful Christmas tree just welcomes us when we arrive. Good news is we arrived in time. Oh, there's a tent over here for Christmas trees. We gotta make sure that the tent is still open for business, you know what I'm saying? Yes! Alright, it's open. <laughs> Thank Garland! Thank Garland! It took us five seconds, we found one. Uh, How tall was it? A seven to eight footer. It was literally like just there, we're like, oh, that one looks great. Just gotta make sure we don't ruin it coming out. But it's here. We're home, this girl is straight up overwhelmed. All the stuff is in the, the couch. But over here, here's our Christmas tree. It's a little crooked, it looks like, while it's in the net still. But here's our tree stand. Ride. True. <laughs> so they didn't have the drill, the drill better is dead. So that's how the tree stays in, it? just that spike on the bottom. So, I don't need you. I got my own drill. Target haul time. Okay, so the camera. Peter drills right when I start to do my haul. Done? Okay, for our Target haul. This is really what we went to Target for. Dish soap, which is also the reason why it exploded on me. And laundry detergent. I know like seventh generation isn't like truly natural, natural. I really gotta get into like the Young Living brand, but this will do for now. It says powered by plants, but I know that there is still some stuff in here, but at least it's it's getting there. Okay, so then we ended up getting some groceries, bananas, peppers. I have onions and stuff at home, so I figure maybe I'll make like fajitas or something. Um, spinach. I went to acupuncture today, and my doctor told me that I'm looking like iron deficient, um, which I have had in the past, so she said spinach and raisins is what I need to be eating so I got raisins and she also said beets but beets like literally taste like dirt so maybe I'll try them out and Peter really likes beets but I'm not a beets person and then we got brown rice some tortillas and quinoa for the next couple of days because Peter um, will want to have plenty of energy when he runs and then I also got guacamole, but I didn't get any chips for it, but that could still go on like wraps or something. And then for after the run, Peter got some body armor. These are like electrolyte drinks, um, but coconut water based, which is like less sugar and whatnot than like your typical Gatorade power activity. I got this for tonight. Not healthy for you, but we had, we had like another crazy day, so I feel like that is deserved. And then our treat for tonight, which so many of you have talked to us about, which I know we've had with Katie with the brownie batter hummus and these Stacy cinnamon sugar chips, but then you guys started telling us how awesome it was. Um, so we got these, but then we got pumpkin pie hummus. So, um... That's what we are gonna have tonight while we decorate. Evers is so cutely behind me like watching. Um, but also at Target we got KT tape. This is like good for like little chafing areas. 
So this little thing has 30 strips. And then this micro SD was not $9, it was $18. Um, but it'll be worth it. This is what we expected it to be. So when we thought it was cheaper, we were all jazzed about it, but um, we'll still use this for the GoPro, especially during the run. And I think like, we're gonna hopefully be using the GoPro like on the cruise and other things like that. So this will be this will be worth it. Oh my good golly gosh. There are some pine needles. This is what happens when you don't cut down your Christmas tree flesh in Michigan. Yeah. One of these years we're gonna drive to Chicago for Thanksgiving and we will cut down the Christmas tree with the family, attach it to the roof of our car and drive 18 hours here. You got Rudolph on, but it's like the perfect height. He really is. Yeah. I'll just have to cut some off the top to get the star on there. Yeah. But our, our star kind of like sits on top. Sits with it. Yeah. So I actually like, like it when it's that tall so I can attach it so it doesn't wobble. Yeah. Isn't Christmassy about Jeff Goldblum? He's talking about barbecue. What's more Christmassy than that? So here's a Christmas tree. Don't mind the crooked star on top. I haven't fixed it yet. But how does it look with? You should have seen it like five minutes ago. I the, all the lights were real heavy on the top. They were not all on the bottom. The thing is, our tree. It's not a perfect tree. It's a parking lot tree. Yeah. But I'm really happy with how the lights turn on. I'm gonna move some down by that, by that corner. That corner's looking a little dark. Um, and I fixed the tr the star on top, but here it is. Did you put on Home Alone? Mm -hmm. We need Home Alone, and then we need Miracle on 34th Street. This is the ornament we were talking about that we stole a bunch of lights off the gazebo we got engaged at. Those lights <laughs> were there when we got engaged. These are from one of my very best friends ever. Her name is Lauren. I love her so much. These are super cool because they're White House Historical Association. Christmas ornaments and each year a, a different president is the theme of it and it's super cool. So like this is the 2016 and it's in honor of <laughs> Herbert Hoover and it's a fire truck with a Christmas tree on the back and they're metal and they're super cool and I'm super it's one of my favorite things ever that Lauren does and I appreciate it every single second. We got lots of fun Christmas ornaments, but we'd be here all day saying how all of them are so special. From our friends in Newcastle, from my friend Kayla, Dominic Eveco got me this, the Christmas of our CP. last touch up of the star get it perfect and then don't touch it again all season it's a little I think it could work until I think we just get like a zip tie or something right there. oh that's perfect yeah ah! he doesn't like the set school no. it's way too adventurous Ooh. she gets a little freaked out when we're on the step stool okay. here's our tree star lights decorations we were really bad about charging our our camera batteries, so both of them died. Nothing like some cell phone footage. Creepy Santa over there. Home Alone right there. Beautiful Christmas smelling tree. Another Victorian Mickey Mini. Ooh, that that Route 66 one keeps flipping backwards. There you go. <laughs> Good job. I also want to show you guys. These are some of our favorites. Will you hold the branch? And you go like this. Boop, boop, boop. You hear that branch? Boop, 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 boop. Front and center. 
That's you. This is honestly my favorite thing in the whole world. I got my pup chewing her bone. My best friend over there. I'm Prep. The course and I just want to make sure that I have everything. All the information you need for tomorrow's race. But we got Christmas lights on, Christmas decorations, Christmas tree, big comfy couch, all enjoying ourselves. Just. I'm looking up our Christmas cards too. We're gonna watch this this new episode of Jeff Goldblum, and then I think it's bedtime because it's earlier morning than I kind of thought. Okay, we're gonna leave around ten. We're gonna go live. We're gonna try maybe on the road. We're gonna try on the road. We are getting ready for bed while Peter's falling asleep on the couch. Happy St. Nicholas Day. It's the 6th. The way I see it, if you want the rainbow, you gotta put up with the rain. Dolly Parton. One last sleep before your race. One last sleep before this race we've been working for for Long time. Like 9 or 10 months or something. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Tomorrow's the day. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.